episode two. And what we're going to do, we're going back upstairs to the railway, and this time there's a number of short sequences put together, but it's just an update for you. Because now we're starting on the engine depot, we're starting on the narrow gauge. So, uh, hope you enjoy it, and um, let's go upstairs. Here we are, we're just about to start track laying on the new engine depot. Uh, you've got the old patterns laid out there, and um, we've got some new point motors to put in. We originally were Pico point motors using a uh, capacitor discharge unit, but now we've gone over to the uh, analog cobalt analog motors. There you go. Uh, they're not cheap, but they're very, very good. They're lovely, slow moving. This is one of the motors, um, cobalt analog motors. You get them for analog operation, which is what we're going to do with a center off switch on the panel, or you can get them for DCC operation. But uh, very good. That's what operates the the point. And this little plate here moves up and down. See that will slide up or down. And that's got a series of holes in it. The lower that is, the greater the throw of the rod for your points. So when you fit these with Pico motors, uh, the big problem is, of course, what we've done, where we've been using old-fashioned Pico motors, you've got to cut a dirty great hole in the board for the motor and the switch. You have to fit a little wooden plate underneath, because these just require a very small slot They've got a sticky pad on the bottom, so you put them up, you line them up, you stick them on, and then screw them on. It's a great system, and unlike the Pico motors, which require a complete forest of wires, these literally take three wires, they just push into these little sprung-loaded switches on the bottom. So, uh, yeah, very, very good. Here we see Moriarty, the railway world, just going underneath to work on the uh, the plate for the new motors. Just soldiering on the basic track wires. You've got your basic track power wires, you one each side and one for the centre of the points. But of course, you haven't got all those extra wires for switches because the whole lot's built into the motor. It's a far better system, a lot quicker, a lot tidier. And when you come to the uh, the diagram on the panel, you just use a centre loaded switch. These are the the pair of switches going in now for the the points coming off the uh, the goods loop, and for the loco and for the crossover. And you can see that they are just centre loaded. And you put the switch over in the direction that you want the point blades to go. And uh, we're gradually working our way across the panel. As finances permit. Okay. The motors are underneath and the plates. See, the whole, the original point hole still got to be covered up and it's all got to be ballasted. But uh, if my uh, trusty assistant puts the point across now, for the crossover to the main line. See, nice, smooth, slow action. And if he puts it back. So much nicer than the old snap and bang of the old Pico motors. And of course that's both ends of the crossover working at the same time. Sometimes it's good to get away from the everyday world and just uh, disappear up, up to your railway room. Um, in point of fact, we're up here now, banging on the door. There's some political party wanting to know if we're going to get our vote. I'd be lucky. Uh, politics aside, um, we're up here doing a little bit of work. So Nigel's working on the wiring, and um, I'm sort of... Decided to sort out the narrow gauge. 
and down this end of the layer you can just see the uh, the basic uh, goods mainline goods in the background but we're starting to put in the the 009 which will run this part of the length of the layer you see it running around and there's the main station over there and we'll keep you updated as we progress well we've got the platform loop in and uh, you can see we've got one of the uh, locos and a wagon sitting there nicely one of the Linton and Barnstable Manning Wardles I've got a bit of a soft spot for the, the LMB uh, Big Brother moved to North Devon many years ago bought Linton Railway Station and started the Linton and Barnstable Railway Association so got to honour it in model form as well haven't we <laughs> right back to work over on the new loco depot the mainline collection connections now in and we've also got the set of points here for the coaling roads while while up at the other end uh, Nigel's now pretty much finished the extension to the loco shed you can see with a nice eight track shed there and there will be various uh, outside roads the coaling roads will come down at the end there and uh, still going to be fitted with um, chimneys and uh, lighting all have lighting coal tower looking a little bit lonely and of course the turntable I hope you enjoyed that brief update and uh, as soon as we get some more done we'll be right back to you. Don't forget next time, it be quite interesting, uh, we've got a trip to Ali Pali, the, uh, the National Festival of Model Railways in a couple of weeks time. So we'll give you a report from there, show you what it was like for those of you who can't make it. And uh, hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to pass it on to your friends if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. So from Nigel and myself and Scamp, bye-bye.